What's up team, it's Ghost Stories Gaming back with another review, a quick review on the title We Were Here. We Were Here is the first in a series and is a co-op, escape room, survival, puzzle adventure. I can give you and another person about two to four hours of gameplay depending on your teamwork, your communication skills, and your level of sobriety. Question is for the price range of free to about five bucks, is We Were Here worth your time and cold hard cash? In short, maybe. Let's talk about it. Game's description. Lost in a frozen wasteland and split up from your partner inside an abandoned castle, the only possession you have is a walkie-talkie with a familiar voice on the other end. Can the two of you find your way out in time? We Were Here is the pilot episode in a series of cooperative standalone puzzle adventures. Two players are trapped inside an abandoned castle, with player one confined to a small secluded part of the castle as player two roams the halls trying to find player one. Every room challenges your wits and your ability to communicate clearly, only using your voice. Are you ready to find out how well you and your friends work together? If you like, living on the edge, try playing with a complete stranger. Can't recommend that. Developed by Total Mayhem Games and published by Total Mayhem Games. Let's talk about the art style. The gameplay and the cutscenes use two different types. This doesn't bother me, but something to note. The environment is haunting, it's creepy, it delivers a spooky abandoned castle set in a frozen wasteland type of vibe. All this with melancholy music in the background, the ambient noise to pair with everything. It's cartoony, but it's a highly detailed space. I genuinely enjoyed the environment. It's not scary, but everything is a little bit uneasy. Let's talk about the combat. There is no combat to speak of, so combat fans look elsewhere. It's a puzzle game from end to end. Let's talk about the core mechanics. As advertised, this is a survival puzzle adventure. So if you don't like puzzle games, you will not like this title and you will not like this series. That said, as a party game with a friend or a lover, it's a fun title that you can finish in a single session. In my opinion, it's a great party game. It's a great game for streaming. It's a great game for let's plays and definitely speed runs as well. It's you and one other person using walkie talkies to describe clues and solve puzzles. There is some imminent danger, but nothing that you and your friends aren't capable of solving. Let's talk about the audio. As far as the audio sound effects go, nothing extraordinary or particularly mind blowing, but the music was a star here, providing plenty of ambient noise, creepy sounds, uh, this kind of like unsettling tone, which I can describe as haunting, but not really scary. There's a snowstorm outside, you don't know who knocked you out, and you're separated from your partner in this creepy old castle. The music complements that extremely well. Again, the game isn't scary per se, but it uses the music to keep things weird and uncomfortable. The story is fairly simple. You're part of an Antarctic expedition. You get separated. You discover a castle. Once you're inside, you're knocked out by a mysterious figure, let's call it, and you're separated into two separate locations. The goal of the game is to survive and escape together. Let's talk about the content. I played it on PC with a friend and we finished in just under two, two hours, right around 100 minutes, maybe a little bit more. If you're a one and done person, this game is not gonna provide a whole lot of content for you. There's not much to do after the fact once you've beaten it, except to achievement hunt. If you're a speedrunner, I guess there's a lot of replay value in that sense. You can play with strangers. Again, that's not my favorite thing to do for games like this. So that could pose a challenge for new players. That said, this is a first in a series of several games. So if you really enjoyed it, there are additional games that you can play or additional content. Those however do cost money. Explore the castle, solve the puzzles, discover secrets, escape together. But if you enjoyed the game and you liked it, there are several games in this series. Let's talk about the QA. No issues, no crashes, no bugs, no problems. I didn't have any issues connecting to the party that I was playing with. It's not a big game. It's not graphically taxing. It should be fairly accessible to most. So is We Were Here worth your time and your free to $5 price tag? Free, absolutely. I think you should download it. It is on Steam for free currently. It's a niche game in reality. It's well made. It's puzzle heavy. My buddy and I played on a whim on a Friday night because we didn't want to touch any of the big titles and we were just scouring the depths of Steam and found it. Pleasantly surprised, not for everybody. But if you like puzzles, if you like party games, if you are a content creator, it's a good stream game in my opinion, or you think your relationship will hold up while yelling at each other using walkie talkies, then you'll be fine. As always team, this is Ghost Stories Gaming. You can find me at Ghost Stories Gaming or Ghost Plays Games on all things socials. We do game reviews, we do let's plays, we do short form content, and we have a creator podcast podcast all about content creators in the space and just having casual conversations with them so make sure to check that out i appreciate y'all's time thank you very much and i'll catch you on the next review peace